Okay, so let's do this without using the Amino plugin and just using, uh, just showing how we can do this without any plugins inside of uh, After Effects. Um, we're just going to use the uh, old friend, the Puppet tool, and I'm just going to go up, go to my Puppet Pin tool. I'm going to create a pin here, and I found with using the Puppet tool to create these curves. Um, the one thing you want to do beforehand, let me just delete that, is uh, we want to make sure these curves are as high quality uh, as possible. So uh, what we're going to do is, uh, if I go and show mesh here, let me put it on a pin first. Uh, see, when, when we do this curve, if I curve this enough, let me hide this now, you're going to see we have this kind of chunky edges and that's because of that mesh uh, these triangles kind of have these sharp edges here um, so you're gonna have these little corners in there uh, so before you even put down any pins it's important that you bring your triangle count which are all these triangles in these mesh to uh, a higher count well, you can see what happens when you really bring it down uh, but let's try 650 and you see that our our curves will be a lot smoother uh, so that's you want to make sure you have a high triangle count before you even uh, lay down any uh, pins so let me just delete this uh, puppet uh, effect down here so let's start all over we got the higher triangle count uh, expansion it's probably good right there uh, so let's put down our first pin here along the edge and I found that uh, uh oh. Come on, computer. Okay. Don't know what happened there. Okay, let's start over again. Computer's acting wonky. Alright, so let's set a pin, and we're going to set another pin here, and we're going to set a second pin in this corner to kind of start that bend. Let's bring this back. And I found that it takes three pins to kind of make a decent curve here so each pin is kind of advancing that curve further and further Actually, let me delete that and there we go um, so let's start the other curve Gotta do a little bit of finagling on this top one here. Alright. See this takes a lot more, a little bit more work than that amino plugin, but uh, at least you won't have any tearing with this. Okay, so uh, I can keep messing around with this, but this is looking this is looking pretty pretty good to me. Um, let's just set some anchor pins at the the ends here. All right, so we got our decent enough curve here. It's looking pretty good. Um, Okay, now the next thing we need to do is now that we have the curve, uh, we need to animate this guy. Uh, and the thing that we're going to need to do is, since this this is still one giant pre-comp, um, and if I move this around, there's really no way to animate it because it's already bent. Uh, if I the thing that I have to do to animate this is just jump back in this pre-comp. So whatever you're applying that bend to, you have to pre-comp it and then put the bend or the puppet tool bending on that pre-comp so uh, and the reason for this is you need to go into your original pre-comp and I have all these elements that make up this arm uh, parented to this null so I'm just gonna hit a keyframe on the position and just go to the B the start here go to frame 0 and just bring this off 
all the way off screen to the right here. And let's just bring this last keyframe up. Just uh, apply a easy ease and let's do a RAM preview. We just have our arm animate in, slide in the screen from right to left. And if I go into my main comp with that uh, puppet tool bend applied and do a RAM preview in this, you can see that we have our arm sliding and bending in. Now it doesn't look perfect, uh, but again, you if you jack up the uh, triangle kind of a little bit better and kind of give a little bit more care uh, with the puppet uh, pins uh, you can get it looking pretty close uh, and the one thing you want to as as I'm adjusting you can see this is, this is setting um, kind of motion paths up here and the reason for that is if I bring this all the way up um, and kind of reframe all this you see that as you put puppet pins in they create uh, position keyframes. Uh, so we just want to go ahead and delete all those so we don't have these kind of animating all over the place. Um, but uh, like I said, you can get this looking pretty close if you mess around with these pinpoints uh, enough here. But I don't want this to be a half hour tutorial about me messing moving pins around uh, so that's how you can get this working uh, this little bend effect with the puppet tool uh, again it's not it's not perfect um, I'm sure if you messed around with the pinpoints enough you can get it looking pretty perfect uh, but it just takes a lot more work than that uh, amino plugin but again with that amino plugin it has its downsides as well with the with the tearing uh, so the third way I'm going to be showing you is uh, you know this is all well and good for some simple curve uh, but if you want something uh, to write out say uh, high in cursive um, even using that amino plugin uh, it, it just kind of falls apart and you wouldn't even want to imagine trying to put uh, all these puppet pins all over the place trying to curve out a, a cursive high um, let me actually show you what I'm talking about instead of just blabbing on. Let me just delete this uh, puppet tool. Uh, let me go back and use that Amino um, plugin and create a new solid and get my path tool here. And I'm just gonna write in the cursive word. or the word high in cursive. So we got something more complex than just a, a bend, right? Um, so let me go in here and let's apply that amino plugin, amino snake. Let's go and we're gonna use our arm precomp. The path we're gonna use is this high path. Let's uh, clear background so it composites over the background here and let's kind of advance this so you can see that our problem occurs uh, right where we have these uh, overlap points um, and you see we have a lot more of that tearing going on as well um, so no matter what you do with these points let's even convert these to just sharp points here it, it just it looks like garbage around these edges right so the amino plugin is good for simple uh, simple paths but something more complex like writing out a word it just it falls apart um, so this is when you want to jump into cinema 4d